The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the December 23rd, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four ship, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, hey, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead and send me an email. Send, excuse me. <coughs> send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and check on these markets out here. Uh, of course, uh, well, let's, let's just simply uh, go to it uh, right now. So right now we've got all of the U.S. indices trading to the upside. we got a green board. The Dow is up 221, the S&P 37, NASDAQ 132, Russell 16, Semis 19, Trendy 7. So they're flat. New York Stock Exchange is up. They're all up here. The spot volatility index, so that's one thing to pay paying attention to. Trade right now at uh, 1942. I believe the 50-day exponential moving average is around 2045. So a buck below that, watch the 2045 level. A close below 2045 today increases the odds that the rally continues tomorrow and that it uh, targets the top of its uh, profile levels. We'll take a look at those here momentarily. Gold is up 11 bucks. Uh, it's trying to take uh, on resistance. I believe that's at 1802.20. It's trading right now at 1800.60. So that's a level you're certainly going to want to watch. Silver is uh, trying to get up to resistance quite a bit higher than where it's trading right now at 2277. Leading the charge dollar wise, the upside. You've got Tesla about 60 bucks, Google 49, Booking Holdings 28, Icon PLC 15, Service Now about 15. To the downside, and it's a big, it's a big schnooker, 88%. Uh, 74 buckaroonies on ticker symbol ALLK, Alicos Inc. Obviously a bad result or something. Moderna is down 19 bucks, 7%. Bionitech is off 5% to 13. Cintas down 12. Alnylam Pharmaceuticals off 9 bucks as well. So we have plenty to look at. Of course, I only want to look at what you want to look at. But let's go ahead and get a couple of these things um, out, of, uh, out of the way right now. The first one coming in from Tim. I believe Tim and I might have looked at this symbol yesterday, which is UPST. And his question, rightly so, is has this bottomed yet? So even I'm not, not going to show the white background charts. I don't need to uh, out here. I mean, it has a momentum indicator signal. just hasn't been confirmed. We don't have a bullish reversal candle yet. But this may just be, and not every single one of the patterns that I use will identify a bottom. It's just when those patterns are present, it just uh, improves the odds. It doesn't guarantee anything. But what we can learn from this, Tim, is if we take a look at yesterday's action, it stopped right where it should have if this was just a counter trend rally. And that's the power of these profiles. Now, it's not just the power of the profiles, it's understanding the makeup of the profile. In this case here, it was a bullish structured profile. There's three lines, or typically three lines, not always three lines. There's always a bottom and a top. Sometimes that center is at the bottom. In this case here, it's closer to the bottom than it is to the top. And that's why we call it a bullish structured profile, because there's buyers and sellers at the center, 150.24. There's only buyers, in essence, and theoretically, at the 144 level. 144 level. That is the bottom of the profile. 166.82 is the top. Now, when we get two consecutive closes below a bullish structured profile, and here we had three consecutive closes below that, that tells us that a counter trend move should find resistance at that center line. 
Center line 150.24. The high today, 150.82. Trade at 145.10. So the answer is no, we don't have a bottom. Now, what you'd like to see this do today, maybe close about where it is or right at the bottom of that profile, get some type of bullish reversal candle tomorrow to confirm the roads mint indicator signal, and then you're off to the races. Now, look, the races on this are just going to get you up to 166.82. If price can close above that, then we have a change in trend signal. We can go back to the charts, take a look at it. Uh, but right now, um, as much as you saw yesterday's candle, perhaps, and you're like, hey, shoot, Stevie missed the bottom here. Pay attention to that bearish structured profile. Now, I have no idea what price is going to do from this point forward. Uh, if price did close above 150.24, then you should see a run to 166.82. And maybe it's a bottom. It's just not one of those Stevie bottoms, which I think is what you were writing in for. So I hope that helps you. I hope that helps everybody out with regard to understanding the bullish and bearish uh, structured profiles because they are really helpful to us. The next question coming in from Dan and the Tigers. Dan, you want to take a look at ticker symbol PTRA. And let's get that fired up here. And PTRA is Proterra Inc. So in the case of Proterra Inc., this is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. Now, it looks like this is one of those profiles. Let me get rid of this consolidation pattern or whatever we had out there. Get rid of that. Okay. So here you've got a profile where both the bottom and center are the exact same price. That's at 906. So, and that's a significant resistance level. So we'll, we'll take a look at the white background charts. But just so you that you know, this rally, it's at 887 right now, may find resistance at that bottom of the profile. That is where sellers are sitting. Um, I mean, there's buyers, but there's, it, 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 price is going to need to close above 906 to suggest something otherwise. Now, if you look at the weekly set of profiles out here that was a bullish structured weekly profile it's going to be week number three below it so a real counter trend rally in this should get us up to the 983 level so that would be the kind of make or break area as to whether or not this thing has turned bullish or not. But let's go see if there's any kind of uh, bottoming pattern or signal associated with this from yesterday's move. And as we take a look at the daily time frame, let's populate it. It'll help us. The answer is no. So uh, today may form bar number nine of a TD9 count, Dan, but it's bar number seven that's got the low. We really need bars eight, nine, the bar following nine, which could be tomorrow, that has at least a spike, at, at, at least the low of the pattern out here. You've got the oscillator and change line. That's near the 906 level as well. So that would be an area to watch. If price tests and rejects that level and closes back below 906, that would suggest that, uh, you know, we go back and retarget those lows. If price can close above the oscillator and change line, then you're looking at that 971 move. But really, we know that from an intermediate term time frame, it's a 983 level out there that you would be watching. So uh, I hope that helps you out with regard to what uh, this instrument is doing, PTRA. Um, just looking to see if there's anything else out here. Not really much else that I can assist you with. So I hope that that helps you out, Dan. And uh, thanks so much for the uh, question. So we got a break that's coming up here shortly, like in about 15 seconds or so. Usually I kind of just talk right through those things. So in the next uh, 15 seconds, what are we going to look at? Uh, so I did mention during the uh, break, not during the break, but during the update out there, that the NQ formed a brand new daily profile. It wasn't on my screen when we were together yesterday, or if it was, I was blind to it. But I did pick up, pick up up on it last night and right now price is above the top of that profile top of that profile is 16071 you get a close above 16071 price is going to go target that descending trend line in about the 163 16325 type area steve rhodes with tfnn we'll be right back Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education 
Creating Investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back. So the cool thing about the bullish and bearish structured uh, profiles out there, it doesn't matter what time frame it is, is that in a bullish structured profile, much like what you're looking at inside the NQ, that's panel number two from the left, uh, when price closes above the center, it really increases the odds that price is going to be able to make its way up to the top of the profile. And in fact, that's exactly what has happened here in the NQ, but price is trading above that. So right now, at 118 in the afternoon, resistance is a uh, whole is uh, failing. Don't know what it's going to look like at the end of the day, but if price does close above that, that's an additional bullish message. From a trend line standpoint or a retracement level, it's all in about the same area in that 16300 plus range out there. So that's where we would expect that price would head to unless price closes underneath 16071. If it rejects that level, we'd have to take a look at the other intraday charts, see what we can figure out here. You know, the profile, they're really helpful to us. So as an example, uh, yesterday, I just happened to see this on my screen out here. So it just helps to for you to see example after example after example. But this is a, a trade that Ron in Denver uh, was in. He had, I believe he had some call options. And yesterday the question was, should he stay, sell, add, what, you know, what, whatever the options were. And I suggested at that stage that if it were me, that I would be selling those options. And that was because, number one, we knew that there was significant resistance at the 3088 level. Price already tested that area. Price was moving into that swing point with lighter volume yesterday. I don't know what the end of day volume was. And price was right at the top of that daily profile. Now, intercession today, probably at about 9.30 to 10, Ron was cussing at me, saying, ah, oh, geez, oh, he, I think he only sold two of them. But Steve-O was wrong. However, we did say that, look, there's going to be resistance at 3088. No idea whether we'll clear that. Uh, but here... You can see how that 3003 level, in fact, has acted as resistance. So we, these profiles really help us to identify, it's not a random level, where the buyers and sellers are. doesn't tell us whether they'll hold or not, but is very helpful to you and I in explaining and understanding what the market is communicating to you and I. So we jump all the way over to the right-hand panel. That's Russell 2000. The Russell 2000 right now, like the NQ, is trading above the top of its daily profile, 2212. Now, Bullish markets, you typically will have the NQ and the Russell out in front. And that's a that's a nice bullish. I'm just talking about bullish signal, uh, short term time periods or what have you. But just the message that is coming from both of those. So those of you thinking of now is the time to jump on the short side, I would say then you're ignoring the profiles. And if you see a Russell 2000 equity future contract close above 2212, the NQ close above 16071. 
um, then I really don't see that message out there. We'd have to go figure out. That doesn't mean that my message is correct or anything. It's just from a, I'm narrating these charts. So much of what I'm sharing with you is really not my opinion. There, there is some information here that I'm able to share with you that you can gleam out of profiles after looking at them for so long, such as those bullish and bearish structured profiles out there. And you get the opportunity to see how that works. Now, if we take a look at the ES Mini and the Dow, they're trading, in, they're trading above the center of their profiles and should then target the top of the profile. Profile. Now, speaking for the ES Mini, not that I'm the spokesperson for the S&P 500, but we do know that the spot volatilics is below its 50-day exponential moving average. That means the wind should be at the back of the S&P 500 for the bulls to push price higher. And more likely than not, the real target is 47.33. So if you're asking Stevie, where is it that I'm looking to put on a short trade inside the markets? Right now, I'd have to say it's the 47.33 level. We're only trading at 46.73 right now. So that's another 50 points or so I believe to the to the upside the Russell 2000 it has a bullish structured weekly profile and if tomorrow's close is above 2208 but really we want to see it close above 2301 the top of the daily profile that suggests a move all the way up to 2314 2314 is the top of its profile the Dow is likely going to target the 35741 to 35808 that's the resistance zone for the Dow so those are your four equity future contracts the profiles new and old out here and what they're communicating to you and I at 122 in the afternoon now let's take a look at a couple of requests that have come in one was to take a look at CrowdStrike CRWD is the ticker symbol the question is has this bottom so let's pull over the uh, white background charts out here and see if we can answer that question. Well, if the charts can answer that question. Actually, if I open up this screen right here, which I've done, I'd ask you, I'll take just a moment pause here to get a sip of water. You tell me, when you look at this chart, with regard to the patterns that you and I share each and every day, has this bottom, has this provided us with a bottom signal for the daily time frame? Okay, here's the pause. Okay, now you know me, I don't give you a whole lot of time there on the pause, but I'm sure most of you said, absolutely, Steve-O, this formed with a TD9 count bottom, and it does it on the trading session, the bar following bar number nine, it does it on December 6th, and then price runs right up to that oscillator and change line. Is that amazing or what? I think it is. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm always just kind of like, wow, how does that work? And I don't know how it works. I just know that it works. And I know that I needed to develop something when price was, especially if you're long, well, whether you're long or short, I'll just right now talk about being long the market, and you started to see the market pull back. You ever get those nerves or what have you? Okay, is this it? Um, and so the oscillator and change line really helps me to understand what the market is communicating to us out here. So being above that is a, a positive, but running right up to a red oscillator and change line, as it did on the trade day of December 9th, and then backing off, not unusual. Where does it back off to? Into the bullish structured area of that bullish structured daily profile. And as it's doing that, it starts triggering these roads momentum indicator signals. Now, the trading day of December 13th was a doji candle. And so doji candles are really easy to either generate a bullish or bearish reversal candle. In this case here was a bullish reversal candle. It just needed the body of the following day, which was the 14th, to wrap around that doji candle. But nonetheless, doesn't matter. That is a confirmed road momentum indicator bottom. So S&P, you have two bottoming signals out here. Now, price is struggling at the resistance level at 207.86, the top of its daily profile. You know, Stevie's got this two bar rule out here because a one bar move above resistance is just a knee jerk type reaction. One bar below the bottom of a daily profile is just a one bar knee jerk reaction. So we don't want knee jerk reactions. We want real reactions out here. And what takes place on the very following session, December the 16th, price gets back below it. Yesterday uh, or two days ago, you test the uh, top of the profile, close below it. Yesterday, you close above it. Today, you're down below that level. So I don't know where this is headed, Jimmy. We'll take a look at a short-term time frame chart for you. But to answer your first question, and your only question, well, you're looking at the crowd for an entry. So it's going to be between where we're at right now and I'd say 197 and change or 199.56, uh, the center of that uh, profile. On a uh, Let's go look at some intraday charts. Let's look at a 30-minute time frame. Just see if there's any kind of signal out here that we can gleam. So it has a TD9 count top. 
price below the bottom of the current profile, below the oscillator and change line. So another level for you to look at is going to be 203.45. I don't know whether price will get back there or not. I don't have volumes up here to see how the 30-minute bar is moving into that 30-minute bar back here, that where, where my cursor's at. Uh, but 203.45, 200 even, Stephen, those would be a couple areas. Maybe you build a position here. Um, if I look at the 65-minute chart, a TD9 count that's led to a sideways move for the most part, the 130-minute chart, I don't have much other than 203 is a potential level of support. The 195, nothing out here as well. So you're in the zone. Uh, look, the average true range on this, and that's really important. So the average true range on this instrument is $12.22. Your stop should be $12.22 times 1.618. I don't know what that comes to, but I'm going to guess $19, $18 below where we're trading right now. So say 20 bucks below 205, that gets you down to what? Um, 185 which is below the bottom of the profile so use that use proper position sizing steve roach with tfnn we'll be right back are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Mean and green across the board. Dow 229, S&P's 33, NASDAQ 104 to the upside. Let's go to our next question out here. This one is coming in from uh, Tom C., uh, actually, KK, no problem. So uh, the question is, what are your charts, four-hour daily, 
really what you think is the best time frame for S L Y G, which is the small cap 600 uh, growth. So the question is, what do the charts communicate to us? Okay, so the very first thing that the charts communicate to me, uh, to, uh, KK, is uh, that price is trading right into resistance. So when I say right into resistance, the top of the daily profile, this is a bearish structured profile, is between 9003 and 9103. Now, if you can get a close above 9103, two consecutive closes above that, that would be a, a bullish signal for you. But right now, you're trading into that level of resistance, and on a monthly basis, it's at 9079. And for the last three months, we'll call this the fourth month out here, price has tried to take out that 9079 level and has not been able to do that. If you did get a close above this, that would be next Friday, I think, uh, no, next Thursday. I believe the market is closed. Is the market closed next week? I don't even know if it is. Um, it's usually open on New Year's Eve. I don't think they move New Year's Eve to, uh, well, uh, New Year's Day to New Year's Eve for the, I, I don't know, somebody out there. But in any event, next week, whenever the month ends out here, if price closes back below 90.79, geez Louise out there, why can't it take that out? Don't think so? Um close on Friday this week. No, this week I know it's closed on Friday. But next week I don't think it's closed. Um, but I haven't looked that up. But I just, it was mentally going through the gyrations in my mind. They don't seem to treat uh, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day um, that with uh, with a lot of emphasis. Yeah, so they're saying no. So New Year's New Year's Day is off. It just happens to be on a Saturday. Is that the deal? Yeah, this is the deal. So let's pull over the S. LYG charts, additional charts, see if there's any other information. So here's the conflict, so to speak, if there is a conflict. This did form a nice uh, Rhodes momentum indicator bottom three days ago. Does it with a nice hammer candle. You then get follow through on the next day with that gap to the upside. You're trading up into resistance. So um, if you're in this trade, just know you're coming up to resistance. I don't see a reason to jettison the position. On a weekly basis, we're just kind of consolidating sideways out here. Uh, maybe price is going to go target. So it's really the daily time frame. I, I don't have the intraday charts to put up here. It's not really going to matter out here because when we take a look at that daily and monthly out here, KK, that's really where all the information. So if you were looking to get into this, then you'd want to buy a retracement. That retracement, I would say, then would be about 89.61. That would be its oscillator and change line. That would be a level in 88.22 would be an area. So that's what I would do if you're looking at this. Again, I don't see, because of that nice bottom on the daily time frame, I don't see a reason necessarily, and with price being above the top of the weekly profile, I don't see a reason to jettison this position just yet, but certainly do keep a, uh, a tight stop on this. You know what? You can't bust them to the upside. Sometimes what markets will do is try to bust them to the downside. And this instrument here could be back where the gap was at. It could be at that 88.22 level. So, uh, KK, and I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. The next question and only question that I have left here so far is coming from Eddie. And Merry Christmas to you as well. So Eddie says, uh, I wish the best uh, for your Christmas season also. But what Eddie wants to look at is AMAT and ARCB. And he said if we have time for a stocking stuffer, his favorite, which is NVIDIA. So let's go see if uh, Stevie Claus can deliver for Eduardo. So AMAT, let's get that up on our screen out here. Well, he wants three of them. Let me see if we can do this maybe a little more efficiently. Um, we could if I, if I could get my uh, act together. So let me do AMAT on the white background charts. This will populate here pretty quickly. It should really give us all the information that we want. That way, uh, I, you know, I don't know if I need to fill time uh, because this is the last question with three or maybe some of you out there that are listening will help me out and send me a request uh, more inside the Tiger's Den. But when we take a look at AMAT out here, price trading right up into resistance. That's its green oscillator and change line. Uh, that's at 151 and change out here. You're 151.06. The next resistant level would be 152.52. And then you've got your bearish structured uh, profile level 155.30 out here. Don't have a bottom pattern. Really see just a sideways consolidation, and price needs to kind of clear these resistance. So your battles inside of AMAT, 151.30 or so, 152.52, 155.30. That's the daily time frame chart. The weekly time frame chart shows what? Shows a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. The price holding in the top of its daily profile, but not yet being able to take out the green oscillator and change line. So really kind of a neutral signal for the weekly. 
Uh, monthly time frame chart uh, says, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I still look pretty strong, and it does. It's held that green oscillator and change line, but it's really the daily time frame, I think, that you're taking a look at. And uh, so just a sideways consolidation out here, Eddie, is what I see when we take a look at ticker symbol AMAT. The next request was for ARCB, I believe that was. So let's pull this set of charts over. And on its daily time frame, this too is running right into resistance. That's its oscillator and change line. Now, it has not been able to close above it. It's been tested several times, like uh, three times in the last couple of weeks out here. So that's been resistance. It's trading into a bearish structure daily profile resistance level of 109.51. That's the level you really need to see price close above to suggest to move back to its highs from back in the November time frame. The monthly chart for ARCB says what? TD9 count top. It's really it's similar, similar to AMAT. So there's the actually slightly different than AMAT because on a weekly time frame, even though you got a TD9 count top, price is above the top of the weekly profile and the green oscillator and change line, which is printed 106.20. That tells me we are neutral to bullish. So that's what that signal tells us. And in the monthly time frame, it just says, "Hey, Steve-O, I'm flat out bullish out there." So bullish on the weekly, bullish to neutral. I'm bullish on the monthly, bullish to neutral on the weekly. In the daily. It's a, uh, it's just a little sideways-ish type of movement out here on ARCB, and that's in between its daily profiles from 100.53 up to the 109.51 level. Looks like we've got time for that stocking stuffer out there, and as we go to that, that's going to be NVIDIA. So we won't uh, belabor this because we take a look at this often out here. What NVIDIA is likely doing is targeting what? targeting the bearish structure daily profile and green oscillator and change line. That says around 303.69 to 308.89 should be the uh, target for where the rally should end. But if you do get a close above, two close above 308.89, Eddie, then that says we head back to the highs. And a weekly time, was a daily time frame. The weekly time frame says uh, I need to clear 30406 to get back to my merry ways to the upside. So that's what uh, the stocking stuffer for NVIDIA uh, shares with us. So, Eddie, thanks again for those uh, wishes and the best to you and your family as well. Uh, let me see if we've got any other requests here. Uh, we do. We've got two. So uh, one came in on the uh, Tiger's Den. We'll go to that one first. And uh, that is to take a look at ticker symbol F-A-N-G, the old fang. So FANG is uh, what? FANG is, we're going to get the uh, black background charts going here too. And we take a look at the Diamondback Energy trading inside its daily profile, trading outside above the top of the weekly, above the top of the monthly. So all that looks good. So really, we need to investigate what is the daily time frame chart telling us with regard to Diamondback Energy. So... So, so what this is telling us out here, this is for SNP, you can see price on a daily basis trading in resistance. Green oscillator and change line, and above that, the bearish structure daily profile. And that's in between the 107.96 to 111.55 area out here. Now, we don't have two consecutive closes below the bottom of this profile or anything along those lines, but uh, it's trading into resistance. We get back to this break, we'll finish looking at Diamondback Energy for SNP and the Tigers. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So we left off taking a look at Diamondback Energy, that is F-A-N-G, and I went to the monthly, I'm going to the monthly time frame first. We're going to kind of do this in reverse order. So as we look at the monthly time frame, we can see a nice TD9 count bottom that took place back in March of 2020, and then there's a TD9 count top that took place in July of 2021 that led to a uh, pullback, uh, to pull back to test the bottom of the profile, the oscillator and change line, and it resumed its way, and a couple months ago, the month of October, closed above a key level of resistance, 105.95, the breakdown resistance level. Now, when this was moving lower, back on the trading week or the month of December 2019, the oscillator and change line changed colors. Typically, when it changes colors, over time, we see price and that line catch up to each other. It gave us that bearish uh, test back in January of 2020 when price got up to that level and then moved lower out there. So now we can see that the oscillator and change line here has changed colors, SNP. So this just says that over a so even though I've got a bullish signal, on the monthly time frame by closing by taking out and negating the TD9 count. It did that in the month of October, but that also didn't change on his change colors. So we're on monthly time frame. It could take a few months for this to unfold, but maybe we just have more of a sideways-ish type move out here until that takes place. Not a guarantee. When I look at the weekly chart, now we've got a TD9 count top. We have a Rhodes Mintum indicator top, price below the oscillator and change line out there. Um, so that says, okay, maybe we're going to do a little bit of sideways movement, maybe lower out here. And in the daily time frame, no real good clear signals out here, but price is failing at resistance. So what's the overall take from Fang out here? I'd say that monthly chart may be driving things, so you'd have to pay attention to that, keep an eye on that out there. And it looks like we should see sideways to lower movement before we get that test of that monthly oscillator and change line. And then we get the real intent on what Diamondback Energy wants to do. Let's go out to Fort Collins, Colorado and speak with Mark. Mark, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Happy holidays to you. You too. Thank you very much. Very much. And DraftKings, I believe, is what we're going to look at. D-F-D-K-N-G out there. Uh, tell everyone what you're doing and how I could best help you. Um, I bought in um, when it was held the 2748 to 52 area. So I'm in it almost exactly 2750. Okay. And I'm uh, wondering what your thoughts are. It was doing pretty well earlier today. It's backed off a little bit. Um, but the volume seems to be decent, and uh, I'm looking for it to get to the next swing, which is um, in the 3393 area. But let me know what your thoughts are. Yeah, okay. So 
Diamond uh, uh, DraftKings definitely bottomed. I've been following this. I was in a trade on this and got stopped out at one point in time. So myself, I am watching DraftKings. So it bottomed. I know we'll pull over the white background chart. You'll be able to see that it was Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom that uh, formed on December 17th. So definitely has a bottom. The issue with DraftKings is, Mark, on the trading day of December 13th, we closed below the bottom of its bullish structured profile. And we've been below that all the way up through yesterday. So what we don't know, what you and I don't know, what we do know is that if this is just a counter trend rally, the resistance level is going to be at the center of that profile, 3111. So that's the area for you to keep watching out there. So any questions about that so far? No. Nope. Okay, if price can get above that, the swing point that you're looking at happens to be the top of the profile, so that would be 33.84. So I imagine as price is moving into that, you'll watch the uh, volume. 12.8 swing point was 14 million shares. Um, yesterday, you were moving higher with 14 million shares. Today, you're at nine. So it's got some good volume considering it is, uh, you know, the day before Christmas Eve out here. But that doesn't matter. The question is, is this just a counter trend rally or is this a bottom? And so the real battle's at 31.11. Let me pull over the white background charts. See if there's any other information that we can gleam out here. The reason I moved to those charts now, folks, is because we want to look at the weekly chart because the weekly could confirm a buy the D point. So you'd like to have two nice bottoms out there. We're not, we don't have any profiles to check on for the weekly or the monthly. So we just have to rely upon the daily. So as we open up the daily, here you can see you've got wave number seven, Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. You've got everything that you need there. And uh, so close about 31.11 would be, a, uh, would be a, a positive outcome for you. With regard to the weekly, weekly time frame chart. We don't have a bullish reversal candle yet, but maybe we get that tomorrow. And that would confirm an A to B equals CD to the downside. And the mark that would tell you resistance is approximately 3672, the oscillator and change line. Because the profiles here are way above that. They're at 4918 where they begin. Any questions about the weekly chart? Um, no, that makes sense. Thanks. Okay, so intraday, uh, what do we have out here? Just looking if there's anything of significance. Um, the uh, I like to use a 65-minute chart, but I've just got the 60 for this. It formed a TD9 count top, and prices moved sideways. I would say if price were to close below 29.37, then this would suggest that it would move back to 27.73. That's where price broke out from. Don't know whether it will or it won't, but that would be the area that I would be watching. The 120-minute chart, I've got nothing. 240, I've got nothing. So. So, yeah, that's about – so it really comes down to, to, to the daily, in my opinion. That's that 3111 area. And if price can get through that, that will be a positive. Doesn't mean okay. it's a guarantee, but that will be a positive. And then you've got your next battle at 3384. And then above that, Mark, it would be 4127. That's the TD9 breakdown level for DraftKings for the daily time frame. Is there anything else that I can help you out with? You know, um, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a question about a current position in the newsletter without giving it away. Um, sure. I'm looking at RIVN. Okay. And let me just show, tell you what I, I, I looked at when, when I first looked at the chart. Um, to me, it looks like um, it's broken a, a swing on the downside with volume, um, potentially ABC down to the 44 level. What do you think about that? Because I'm looking at the high of 11-16-2021 and the low of 12 is it 03 or 04? Looks like 03, which is $100. That's like 79 points. Yep, yep, yep. And then you have a high, I think, on 1208 of 123.40. And then, so you broke that 100 swing. Um, that, that had 19 million, and you broke it with 29 million on yes. 1217. So right. why isn't, you know, I'm not going to say anything about our trade. And it's I'm okay. not in it yet. I'm not in it yet because of this. So I wanted to ask you about that. No, that would bring so that is absolutely that, sure. So that is absolutely a potential pattern here for uh, Rivian uh, uh, Automotive. R I V N is the uh, ticker symbol, and so that is a valid pattern that is in place out there. So it's a valid pattern, but the question is: Is it doing anything at these lows? Is it giving us any kind of a bottom signal? Now, it could just be a counter trend rally. So when we take a look at this R I V N, well, first. Thing, uh, as long as you're asking about this, one of the reasons that I'm interested in this trade, there are a couple of reasons, but one of them is the volume that it has back in November 16th. Now, what Mark is saying is, hey, Steve, maybe this is going to get down to 43.93, which would be a nicer buy than where we're at right now, and then move up to that 179 level. So definitely a possibility. But what has gotten in the way of that move, at least at this stage here, is another Rose Mintum indicator bottom that was confirmed yesterday with that bull sash candle. So um, that's the reason 
reason to con- so it's it's trying to form a bottom whether it will or won't you know that's something that you and I are going to explore over time so what I would do is if there was a close below the low from two days ago, the low of this pattern, and our stop would be is well below that. I would go ahead and exit that position and wait for another setup. But yes, that A to B equals CD pattern is there. My experience has been that uh, just because there's an A to B equals CD pattern doesn't mean that it will complete, and therefore you've got to look to see what else is going on presently. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. And the other thing I was kind of watching is, you know, it looks like the day that it IPO, the low is ninety five twenty, um, and so for me. I'd like to see it close back inside that. And and me too. Right <laughs> yeah, me too. And it did that yesterday. And right now it's trading out 94.87. But hey, you're welcome to hang on through this breakout here. But uh, sorry to cut you off. We're going to. No, that's all. That's all I needed. I just wanted to. Check you bet. Merry Christmas, time. Mark. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Folks, let's end our day in Kansas City with Robert. Robert, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm doing great, Steve. Yourself? Excellent. Thanks so much for asking. So I know you're talking or calling to talk about the U.S. oil fund. USO is a ticker symbol. Uh, tell me how I can best help you. Can you tell me um, if the daily and weekly profile on USO is bearish? 
Ah, okay. So uh, I wasn't ready for that question, but we're going to find that out for you right now. So we're going to put up three time frames out, or USO. Um, and, of course, I would be more interested in the profiles on the oil contract. But to answer your question, um, I would say it's pretty equally balanced on the daily. Price is above the top of that profile, 51.27. It's also light sweet crude is trading above the top of its profile. Now, the weekly profile uh, is forming this week. The bottom is at 53.68. And uh, the actual uh, centers at 56.18 and the top at 58.69. This profile formed above price. That's typically a bearish message uh, because it tells us about overhead supply. So the level to be watching here would be 53.68. Maybe because we've got this breakout in the daily time frame, that's where price is targeting the 53.68 level. So that's what the profile, and on a monthly basis, pr uh, price is above the top of the monthly profile. So we've got about 30 seconds. Any, any other question where I can provide you with the information you're looking for? Can you provide that same information for SLB? I can. So uh, your your request is my demand out here. So when we take a look at SLB, it's populating right now. In the case of SLB, the top of the profile, this is a bullish structured profile. This would say a close above 2116, which suggests a run to 2193. You're inside a pretty equally balanced weekly profile at the bottom of 2047, the center where it's traded into, which is 2111, and the top is at 2176. A bullish structured monthly profile with support at 1912 and resistance at 2739. Robert, we're going to have to end it here just because we're out of time but happy holidays to you and your family thanks for the call much appreciated and best of luck with what you're doing inside of uso folks stay tuned for a couple more great hours out here tomorrow morning is when i'll be recording the show between eight and nine so please join me for tea and crumpets maybe a candy cane or two tomorrow morning live at eight take care and have a wonderful wednesday folks